Welcome to lockdown vlog number 17 and today's vlog is edited and with a voiceover because it is about a subject that I feel very strongly about. So this day it is prepared and not improvised. And while I talk you see me making some iced coffee because yesterday was a very warm day in the Netherlands. So I decided to make some iced coffee. Enjoy. Now yesterday I got a question from Koen and it reminded me of this topic that I wanted to talk about already for a very long time. Um, I did discuss this on many, many forums over the, over the years, but this was mostly with members of the snake oil community and convincing members of the snake oil community is more or less useless, but I'm going to talk about it again. I thought it was a simple enough uh, concept, but apparently it is not. Even when I asked Google what is an audiophile, she started talking about audiophiles, as in music audiophiles. Hey Google, what is an audiophile? According to Wikipedia, an audio file format is a file format for storing digital audio data on a computer system. The bit layout of the audio data is called the hey, audio Google. coding format. Stop. Thank you. So probably we need to make clear what is an audio file. Now first let's look at let's have a look at what Kuhn had to say. Basically what he says is focus more on the music and audio audio files should focus less on the equipment. And yes, I have met those audio files that will do that. There was one guy that changed equipment almost on a monthly basis. He had read in some review that device X did so and so very good and then he had to have it and uh, changed his equipment. So I do know those audio files exist. In fact Kuhn is saying that he was in that place too. So he went out of the scene for a year and now he is back and enjoying the music again. Now I understand where he is coming from and today's vlog is not about Kuhn, but there is one thing that triggered me into today's topic and that's when he says audio files should stop focusing on the equipment. But there seems to be a basic misunderstanding of what an audio file actually is. And of course, this is just my opinion, but I feel very strongly about it. The thing is, being an audiophile is not about the music. I showed you my girlfriend's system some vlogs ago, and she loves music. She is even very passionate about her music, but she is definitely not an audiophile. Now in the end, most audiophiles invest all their time and money to listen to the music of course, but the audiophile part is not about the music. It is about the sound of the music. So there is a difference between sound and music, and the audiophile part is about getting the best sound out of your system. So when you say audiophiles should stop focusing on their equipment, it is simply a misunderstanding of the term audiophile. So I want to thank Kuhn for his remark, because this was a topic I wanted to talk about for a very, very long time, and this gave me a good opportunity, a good reason. And to finish off this topic, I want to repeat something that I believe I already mentioned in one of my uh, other videos. And this is the ever returning comment, huh, he is just an audiophile who wants to pay 10,000 euros for a snake oil cable. Now cables do make a difference, but that is for a other video. No, this is about the idea that being an audiophile equals spending huge amounts of money. And yes, this hobby can get crazy expensive, but as long as you care about how, uh, how you set up your system and things like loudspeaker placement, room acoustics and system integration, you are an audiophile. It doesn't matter if your system costs 500,000 euros or 500 euros. Okay, enough preaching for today. I hope this was informative and I see you tomorrow.